Another useful U function keyword is exec. This creates a function you can execute from the console, but it is a bit limited. There's only a few classes that actually can execute these. The classes are usually related to the player controller, so like the player controller, the pawn, maybe player state. I'm not sure. I actually don't use this very much. There's a more generic way to create a console command. Uh, the convenient thing about execs is that it's associated with this particular player, effectively. So let's create a body for that function, set a breakpoint there, and let's compile it. And since this is a pawn, it should work for us. Make sure we save all our files. I'm going to copy the function name and compile that. OK, so now that it is compiled, let's play. So we have control over our pawn. If I open up the console, paste, and that is the function name. That is our exec function. So I'm going to execute that. And notice we are executing this function in code. We fit our breakpoint. So you might wonder why use exec over the ke star, or vice versa. Exec, notice we only called it once. So if I stop this and I throw a couple pawns in the world, I hit play. Now if I call my console function, we've tripped once and that is all that's happened. However, if I do ke star and it's on the u function, so if we drop a breakpoint there, so we've hit it one time, so for one of the pawns, I continued, I hit this again, continued, I hit it again, continued, and I hit it again for the last pawn. And so ke star will execute the function for all of the things in the level that match that, whereas the exec is specific to the person typing in the console command. So that's the difference between exec and ke star. There's also console commands, which we'll cover those in a later video. We will continue looking more U functions and further videos.